quite the view up here. Man, it's just shoveling it. Climb out the ski jump, getting the concrete stairs ready for spectators. And lo and behold, Sunday morning, 10.30, my wife just sent a message that there is a train coming north. Anyway, I'm coming off of Pine Mountain right now. I will get in front of it. I knew it was coming north this morning. I told my wife, as soon as it passes you, send me a message so I can get off the hill and get in front of the train. So, Whew. Anyway, I thought you might like this little view. We are on Kramer Drive. Again, coming off of Pine Mountain Ski Jump. This is the only access road to the top of the hill. If you just saw, we just came through a little subdivision, so always pretty cool place to be. Ski jumping is under two weeks away. Today they were cutting the track, which uh, I will throw some pieces of that in there right now for you. This is a pretty cool spot on my right. The largest Cornish pump in the world from the mining era when they used to keep the mines pumped out of water. Pretty cool museum and a World War II museum. Bunch of airplanes and stuff in there. Anyway, we're gonna come down the hill here. Go catch us a train. Give you a little shot of the trapping pit right here. There's a smokestack off in the background. This pit right here is, I don't know how deep, over 700 foot deep or so. I don't know, I really don't. Train tracks are right here between US 2 Highway and the pit. And of course they run right here. Anyway, anyway, I thought maybe you wanted a kind of a cool view of the pit there. I know I talk about it often, but it's really hard to show it because uh, if you're on the highway, it's, it's really hard to show. Well, I can see the train. I've pondered, do I stop here on this straightaway away by the Iron Mountain Fire Department and film? Or do I go down a little bit where they actually blow the horn in Iron Mountain? Hey, I don't know, as I sit here and think about it, wondering if I should film here or if I should film down the tracks. I think I'm gonna go down the tracks. I know how much you guys love to hear the train horn, no matter if it's on a good day or a bad, and they're not going to blow through here, so let's go along over by US2, over near Hardy's, and uh, we'll catch the train blowing its horn as it comes on through. There's the pits as we drive across them, or pit. There's another pit on the opposite side of the road, so that's why I say pits. I see we've got ELS 501 up front and ELS 402 behind. Again, we're standing right along US 2 Highway. Hardy's right there, Dickinson County Homes. Right now he's going across the pits. There's a pit on the left and there's a pit on the right, the one I just showed you. Oh yeah, pretty long train. Got a lot of uh, empty log cars. And a few green cars on the end, I understand.
crossing they blow at in Iron Mock, Michigan. Every other crossing is a no horn zone. And the next crossing he's going across is the only gated crossing in Iron Mountain, so he doesn't even have to blow there. Anywho, I'm going to film this train and then I'm going back up the Pine Mountain. I've got a whole day to spend. Be shoveling stairs, which is a very long, tedious progress uh, process. It's, I'll show it to you on, on camera film, but uh, oh man, what we got? Oh, 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 mega log haulers! Yeah, buddy. How many we got? One, two, three. They keep on coming. Four, five. There's never a shortage of mega log haulers on this railroad. And green cars to end it. Hopefully this truck will pull up in front of my way. Thank you, sir, you did not. All right, that's all she wrote. Make sure to hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button. Make a comment below. I might throw some uh, clips of Pine Mountain here at the end. Of oh man, we got a green thread today. How are you doing, bud? Alrighty, alright. I better get back up to Pine Mountain. They saw me leave in a hurry and I didn't really explain myself, so I'm going back. Yeah, a little out of breath. But I told you guys I'd get you a little bit of a video of what I'm doing here. Concrete steps right here. I'm trying to make them safe. So we can at least walk on them. The edges are breaking off nicely. This is what I'm looking at in front of me. These are the steps after I break them. Okay, if I can get a good corner off and a little edge, maybe in the next week, they'll be a little better, but... We're getting there. I mean, uh, you guys can't see all the stairs that I have done and the stairs that are actually looking safe. I know they look treacherous from here, and they are right now, but uh, we're working on it.